Taylor, eh? Or is it Taylor E.H.? It makes me seem like I'm above everyone else, <laughs> right? <laughs> the angle's a little lower. Okay, yeah, for some reason I kind of like this being on too. It Fair just enough. adds a little bit of warmth. Maybe I'll realize in post it's a bad idea. But damn! There you go. Whoa! There you go. You did. So, Kylia, nice. can you please come into frame? Uh, hello. Hi. So this Hi. is Kylia, who is uh, Bryn's uh, sister. And mm -hmm. you, if you don't know who Bryn is, he's you know my business partner in this recording studio. She just happened to be here tonight and helped me so much with the the fine tuning of uh, this whole lighting rig. It was just it was kismet, yeah. as they say. Right. And she's a fabulous documentarian, as I mentioned before. Um, I'll put a link in the the script. Uh, if it's 2,300, the description might be up there, but for now it's down here. Yeah. And we have to we have to emulate that juicy money conversation we were having. I'll leave you be. Oh, well, well, but the whole idea was like, It's really weird. My head is so much bigger than yours. Uh, Kylia was talking. Are, is the screen clean? I guess it's clean, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Kylia was talking about uh, how a lot of artists, musical artists, have it as a badge of honor that they are, you know, poor and, like, they're a real artist as long as they're poor. I've been taking a course where they've been talking about money like it's a, like it's a trap. It's kind of like having a human body. Like, it's just you're never going to escape that. The only freedom is in, like, kind of noticing that and noticing the confines of that, noticing the stuff that you make up based on being trapped in this thing. So, like, for me, I... If I feel like I've done a hard day's work, even if I have like zero money, I'm like, I'm going to order something off of Uber Eats. And if I realize I don't have any money, I'm like, if I make it mean like I'm not worth it as a person. You know, we collapse our value as people with how much money we have and this and that. And it's funny because what you're saying is just another version of that. It's just, mm -hmm. I don't have money, so that means I'm a real artist. Or mm -hmm. I have a lot of money, so that means I'm a great person. Either way, you're just kind of, yeah. you're trapped in some myth of your own design so she said the word generosity and I think that that's my life philosophy right now is it's all just about giving forward I think mm -hmm. have I said like like a thousand times as I've been talking you might have but I didn't okay. specifically think of it so you're probably fine okay good <laughs> yeah. uh, that's one of the things I'm gonna practice throughout making all these videos so please help me with that that was a really great exchange that we had where I just talked to the camera for three minutes but thank you that's for okay here. yeah no it just it's all no I mean that was because I didn't leave any room for you and I was just trying to get it across well we had had the previous conversation we yeah. were sorting out technical difficulties because uh, we, we basically re read this was a rehash of the conversation yeah, that we had exactly yeah um, actually it was better in the rehash usually it feels like <laughs> yeah, some worse thank you so much for being here Kelly any yeah, anything you want to tell my I actually have a thousand subscribers from back in the day no oh, Lord amazing. knows maybe yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe like 40 or 50 of them will uh, find this but yeah do you have anything you want to say um I just wanted to touch on that point that we were talking about coming in the door which is that the most difficult thing is really to not become discouraged mm -hmm. as an artist and it see it sounds so simple and yet we've all like reached that point where it just feels like impossible um to keep going and um yeah we've all reached that point I think so. Or at different times, not like all... Oh, no, 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 not the whole yeah. world has reached its point now. No, I just think that each person yeah. will reach that point again and again, but you just, but you can continue to surpass it again and again, so... What are the recognize... what are the things that usually stop you that, that come to your mind in those Personally, moments? Personally, um, I think for me one of the worst things is a feeling of isolation. Mm -hmm. So if I try and take on a project and I assume that it can be done entirely on my own, um, I think it's it's partially an ego thing. It's like, you know, you feel like you have all of these skills and resources, and yeah. but then you get stuck and you realize um, really a collaboration is not taking away from the value of your ideas or your work. It's not there to, like, rob you of something. It's there to help you get that extra mile so you can actually put it out there. It's, so, help, it's there yeah. to help you get even lighting. Yeah, there you, you know? go. Like, there like you go. right here. You yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah, I, I definitely... Yeah. I definitely am a fan of, you know, not not lone wolfing it, but yeah. also I'm I can get so OCD with my own art and and right, yeah. and control it. And if a song was deliberately written to have every note and every little nuance fall in a particular way, or it doesn't work, mm. then those are a lot 
more hard on the spirit. They can be very fulfilling as well, but uh, yeah. I try to avoid those now. <laughs> it's my theory. Awesome. Um, what else? It, it, and then it's just like the existential thing of like, what's the point of making art when there's like all this other suffering and stuff in the world? You get to make mm. like documentaries about substantial subjects and sometimes, and, yeah. Okay, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, but I think it's important to remember that your work, to not think of it as like a selfish luxury, but as something that other people might actually need. Um, in the sense that if you, you know, if I think back to my high school days, for example, mm -hmm. and, and the number of, like, films or music that really helped me through a particular period in time, right? Help! And to, you, sure, you could think, oh, it's just a, it's just a song for enjoyment, but I think it helps people, like, get through times in their life, and that is value and that's yeah. something that people need i think it partly depends on on what your intentions are when you're making art again yeah. you know again like yeah. i i had times where i absolutely loathed making music and i was terrified of stopping because it was kind of all i knew how to do and i just i wanted to keep up appearances for people because i didn't want to worry them and all this and the truth is as soon as i stopped making music about me and started making it about giving something which mm -hmm. When you grow up as egotistical as I did is a is a hard thing to wrap your <laughs> mind around, um, let me tell you. But um, as soon as I did that, it was like something opened up, and I, it was the best vocals that I ever heard was was mm -hmm. when I was giving deliberately mm -hmm. to people. I've tried to keep remembering that as you know, as all that other machinery keeps trying to warm its way back in. Well, I okay, well we had a chat. Yeah, it was nice to meet you I guys. I think this has to be I'm its own go. separate video now. There you go. You know, it's just cool by me, you know. Yeah. Content over uh this is like qual this is quality content just in a, you know, a more spontaneous way. So let's yeah, let's make that definitely part of the channel. I don't want to make this like a very a rigid uh thing where it's only like high quality content in like the obvious fashion where it's yeah. like a song that I spent a lot of time mixing and all this. Yeah. It can it can be all over the place, so. Mm -hmm. But I have made a mandate, I have to sing in every video, so. That sounds good. Thank you for watching and thank you to Kylia. You're welcome. Oh, and I'm she sings too. She's in a acapella choir. That's true. When are you guys playing next? We don't have a date, but we're recording right now. Oh, cool. Actually, that's what we're doing instead of, oh, yeah. Why are you not recording here? I'm so offended. Why are you not recording here? I'm so offended. It's a long story. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Good to see you too. Good to see you too. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe, click the thumb, and the bell. Below, you can check out other videos, my music, and more. I'm also on Facebird and Instagram or whatever. And here's me as a kid saying, So long for now.